Hi everyone, it's Andrea, welcome back to my channel. I'm here today with another flip through. This is a flip through of the Celtic colouring book. Uh, this is the front and this is the back. I have to excuse the shine coming through the window. Um, and these are all little Celtic designs. It's a very nice hard co cardboard cover. It's the artwork is by somebody named Leslie Davis and some of the at the beginning you get some coloured images so you can see what they look like coloured and you can do your own colouring designs, blending and shading and what whatever. So they've got some ideas for you with regards to the colouring. Obviously you don't have to do that, you can do whatever you want. I don't know how many pages are in this book. I like this one, the little hearts are nice, little Easter egg ones. So you can do these at different seasons if you if you want to. So does it say how many designs there are? So there's over a hundred Celtic designs, so it's not a hundred pages, because as you can see, there are three different images here. Um, it's single sided, which is good. So you can use markers on here, which is what I plan on doing for some of them. Um, this would be a great book if you were into journaling and scrapbooking and you wanted to put some Celtic designs in your journal or scrapbook because you could cut them out and use them because as you can see this has got a frame and they're all like um, sea related. Got the obligatory peacock, butterfly and so on and they're just really really lovely designs. It's not Create Space, it's published by Search, Search Press. Search Press. So they have a website www.searchpress.com quite thick paper which is great. I would obviously still put a piece of paper in between the pages when you're colouring them if you're using markers or water medium be just because of the bleed through. Um, even though it's thick it's probably going to bleed through especially if you're using something like alcohol markers or sharpies and stuff like that. So as you can see this is that sort of like Christmas related so you could really you could cut these out and use them to decorate a journal or um, a collage for Christmas or Easter and so on. So here we have a sort of like a little Christmas tree one and another candle. But I wanted a book with Celtic designs and I picked this one. I thought it looked quite interesting. See so this one massive one there. Sorry, I'm just trying to turn the pages. And there's a cross. I love these designs and you could do whatever you wanted. You could uh, paint the background black with acrylic paint and then fill it in golds and greens or whatever you wanted to. It really, really depends. So here's some more Celtic crosses. Another one here. The knot work is absolutely stunning. Triquetra. I like those. There's a three triquetra. Yeah. And it's just fantastic. More Easter eggs and flowers made out of the knot work. That's the hearts one that was at the front. We saw it coloured. So you do get some ideas, but not all of them are shown coloured, so you don't have to worry about it. But like I said, perfect for if you want to cut them out and use them for scrapbook and journaling. I don't. I'm just going to leave them in the book and colour them. Um, you never know when Jennifer grows up. Maybe we will cut them out and do something with them. Craft something crafty with them. I don't know. It's always handy to have this sort of thing. Same. So these are really lovely. So you got uh, a Greek letter in there. Oh, little baby's making a noise. I can sort her out in a minute. So, but they're really lovely, really lovely designs. Really, I really like this book. It's not what I expected it to be. Um, I will probably get a Celtic mandala book because I think that would be nice. That sort of reminds me of like a picture frame or a frame around a mirror. Would look lovely with a mirror with that round at the edge. Or that one. And these. Absolutely stunning. Designs. I really like them. So they are set up almost for you to cut out, I think, but. I like them. Can 
I think I will get a Celtic Mandala one as well. And that's that. And then on the back page here we've got some more of the other books. So there's Art Nouveau, Chinese, Angel and Fairy, Christmas, Flower and Aboriginal Art. So we've got some other lovely books as well. They do, I did get this from Amazon so I will leave a link to the book on Amazon. In the, excuse me for kicking the traffic, in the description below. Um, just so you know that I am an Amazon affiliate. If you purchase the book via the link, I leave, I will get a small commission. Now, if it's there is a link for Amazon, um, if it's available on Amazon.com for the US, I will leave a link there because I'm also an Amazon affiliate for the US site as well. So I will put in um, for any of the books UK and US links. So that's it for this video. This is the Celtic Colour Book Leslie Davis by Search Press. I'm going to really enjoy colouring this one in, and I hope to see you soon. Um, happy colouring, people. Bye.